What's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon. This is Potty Mouth Sports, your spot for uncensored and unfiltered sports opinions. Today, we are coming with week 11 of the money line props and parlay bets. Um, we're going to switch it up. As you can see up top, we got $86.17. Really, it's being hard to uh, track gains and losses. Well, not really, but I'm also dabbling in basketball, just kind of getting uh, getting my shit together with basketball bets, kind of pecking away uh, leisurely with that. So I don't really keep track of everything. I'm getting a lot of gains in basketball. So I think eventually we're going to start a betting video segment once a week for basketball betting because quite frankly i'm making more money in basketball than i am in football this year so um stay tuned for that let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing something like that maybe once a week we put some money on a game put money on a triple double or assists and points and shit like that for props but uh this week in football back on track here uh we're gonna do something different i'm just gonna bet on two money line games and then do two parlays and get the fuck out of here because like the games just haven't been there if i were to put more money down on money lines i can potentially gain more i know it's more risk and we have more risk of losing more money uh but at the same time it's not really interesting betting money lines on quite a bit of games and either they don't hit or they have a dollar 50 return or some stupid shit like that. So we're going to switch it up this week. We're going to start with the fins fins, jets fins are on a bit of a streak right now. Their defense is fucking woken up out of a fucking long coma and a divisional game up in New York, three and a half point spread. Miami's favorited for this. Uh, I don't see the defense stopping this week. The Jets just aren't lethal like that. We're going to use $3 in uh, bet credits, and then I'm going to put 20 down. Actually, there we go. I'm going to put 20 down on the fence. $11 return. And then we got Kyler Murray coming back. Uh, Russ is obviously back for the Seahawks. He was last la- uh, He was back last week. They lost 17 nothing to the Green Bay Packers. Didn't even put points up on the board. Uh, Kyler is expected to be back, so I believe he will be. Uh, he's already been out two weeks, so I don't see him setting out a third. I put 20 on the Cardinals. And if both those games hit, then that's about $30 in return, so that's pretty cute. Now we're going to do parlay. We'll do every game parlay quick we'll do pats uh ravens i'm gonna i'm gonna go with the lions here actually let's just play it smart we're gonna go browns green bay titans bills miami new orleans saints 49ers, Carolina, Cincinnati, Arizona. This one's a tough one. Very tough. KC. We're going to go Pittsburgh. And we're going to go Tampa. I'm going to put a dollar down on this. Now let's do the uh, the big spread parlay. We'll go Work in reverse. We'll go box. I'm not even going to bet on the Steelers with this. We'll go Bills. Cleveland. Tennessee. We'll go Patriots, too. Make sure we didn't miss anything. No, that should be all right. I'll put... Put five down on that. 
We can use a free bet on the Patriots game. So we're going to do that. We'll go money line Patriots. We'll use a $10 free bet. And that's a free $3.27. Um, let's go upsets. We'll go Detroit Lions. We'll go Detroit Lions. We'll go Cowboys. We'll go Steelers, my boys teams. Really, we can just stick to that. That's not even really supposed to hit. I'll put a dollar down on that. Let's see if I were to use $3 in bet credits. It actually takes away from my return. So, uh, yeah, we'll just put a dollar down. Fuck it. So, let's recap. Not really much going on here. We got uh, 20 on the Fins, 20 on the Cardinals, money line. Then we have a 15-team parlay for a dollar. We got a five-team, blow- basically our blowout game uh, parlay, five bucks. And then we have a three-team um, upset parlay for a dollar because these games really aren't supposed to hit the Lions game. Like, I just really have a gut feeling the Lions are going to get their first win this week. They tied the the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers last week. I know Ben Roethlisberger wasn't there, and obviously uh, that leaves the offense in a uh, scramble. But, um, I mean, they're, inch- they're just inching closer and closer every week to their first win. They're on nine right now, I believe. So, um, yeah, it's got to happen eventually. And the Browns have looked very off this year. So hoping that hits Cowboys chiefs. Like that's not far fetched on paper. The Dallas Cowboys have a better team than the chiefs this year. So, and uh, again, Steelers chargers, six point spread the chargers just aren't as exciting to watch as they are last year. I think the, the magic of Justin Herbert is uh, kind of slowly fading away. Obviously he's still a very good quarterback. He's still doing his thing. It's just that defense is just a fucking joke. And uh, they're playing a tough Pittsburgh Steelers D who can hold them in there in the game. And obviously like if you're going to give the Pittsburgh offense, any favors, they still have Najee in the backfield. They still have, Deontay Johnson, they got Chase Claypool. Um, they have wideouts who can catch the ball so and make plays. So, And they have uh, that tight end, uh, Friar Muth, who's very good. One of the sleeper picks out of the draft. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think of our week 11 switch up. I just wanted to keep it simple. I just want to make money. That's why we're here. Not here to diddle around, obviously, like. I want it to be fun as well, but it's only fun when we make money. So we're going to keep it simple this week, not go out of pocket too much. Uh, Obviously, as you can see, I basically split half of what the bank was up top. That's just smart betting. We're going to just get really smart for the next couple of weeks, kind of simmer down on the props, simmer down on trying new things out. We're just going to stick to what we know. And uh, also let me know in the comments below what, if you think I should incorporate some NBA betting as well. I'm always down for that. We can do that maybe once a week. Um, link in the bio, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Keep up to date with what we're doing. Also in the link in the bio, you can cop some merch. There is a link to our shop still on sale. Uh, limited quantities, JK, but still go cop it. Uh, support the boys, support the movement, support the platform, and uh, let's hit on this shit. Let's get some bankroll going so that we can play around with the money some more. This is week 11. Uh, I will see you week 12, and we'll see how all this pans out. Peace.